Hey, Shelly here at the Farm with the Red Door. And today I want to share with you guys something that we are going to try out this year. We're always trying out new things. And there's one thing in homesteading that I've never heard anybody talk about. And that is the subject of what to do with all the organ meats when you process an animal. And so if, you know, whether you're homesteading or you find a farmer and you purchase, you know, fresh meat to stock your freezer with, the problem that I have encountered is what to do with like the livers and the heart and um, the different organ meats that you get with that animal. So we had purchased, uh, we, we haven't raised any of the um, animals ourselves, but we had purchased a half of a beef and a whole hog. And we, well, we did process our chickens and you know, we love all the meat, but we're left with the organ meats. And when we just processed our 26 chickens, I had a whole pile of like the kidneys and the heart and the liver. And you know, that's part of the bird. That's part of the animal and you pay for it. When you get, when you purchase a cow, you are, you know, paying for per pound of hanging weight. And so you're paying for those organ meats. And if they just go in the trash, that's kind of a waste in them. You know, in a lot of cultures, they eat that. I mean, in this culture, a lot of people eat it, but I just don't like to eat liver and heart and, you know, just the organ meats. And so I've had them in my deep freeze and we've been, you know, using the hamburger meat and the steaks and the ribs and all that. And I keep seeing this liver and this heart and I'm like, what do I do with it? And so, you know, at the same time, I'm feeding our cat regularly and my daughter, they live next door and her dog is always running over to get a bone from me every morning. He thinks I have that many bones for him, but you know, I'm feeding animals. And so I kind of had a brainstorm and I thought, you know, I am gonna collect all the organ meats that I have, which it, it ended up being quite a bit. Um, when we butchered all of our chickens, I put them all in a Ziploc bag and, and it was stuffed full. So that was, you know, just from the chickens. Um, and then about another four or five packages of from the hog and the beef. And so I collected them all up and I found a bag of turkey, shredded turkey that had actually gotten pushed to the back of the freezer. And I missed it and it is completely freezer burnt. Um, but you know, animals, they don't care about things being freezer burnt. So I've concocted a recipe and I'm going to make cat food and dog food with it. And of course our cat is still under a year old and I, you know, I, I want to still feed him the, the cat food that I purchased at the store, but I feel like this would kind of fill in the gaps a little bit. Maybe I could save some money. So I'm not fully feeding the cat with store-bought food. And it'll be a little treat when the dog runs over from next door. So I've got the, I'm going to boil the, um, the organ meats and then I'm going to cook some barley and I'm going to do a little bit of research to, you know, finish rounding off the recipe to make it a good, healthy cat food and dog food. So anyway, well, I'm just going to take you along um, on the journey. And if you find that you're not wanting to throw your meat away, um, but you don't really want to eat it either, you might want to give this a try. And so um, we're going to head into the kitchen and we're going to start making it. Got our deep freeze out here in our conic storage container. We're gonna grab all of our organ meats. Mm. Let's grab me some eggs and eggs and bring them up closer to the trailer. got our half of beef and our hog in here and all the chickens that so we're looking for organ meat. We've got some liver, heart. Here it is right here.
have? Like how many? We I've have got, uh, beef liver. One, two, three pounds plus. And then we have organ meats. We've got uh, one pound of organ meats and two pounds. So it's about three of each. Three pounds of organ meats. And this one is from our chickens. This is all the hearts and gizzards and all that. Not the gizzards. Not the, the gizzards. Liver. The li okay. liver. Uh, yeah, I think I definitely want to turn this into cat food. I can't imagine having to eat this amount of organ meat. Hearts. Is it like, would that make a that's, ball? That's exactly like cat food. Look at that. Look at this. Add a little bit of fat. Use some of that rendered lard to just get, to make it just a little more sticky. Get some good healthy fats in there. Cat's gonna be living high on the hog. Uh, literally. Well, beef and chicken and turkey. This hog. Is there? Wow, what does it look like? Ooh, that looks like cat food. That is like fancy feast. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> this is like healthy cat food. Grass fed animals with organic barley and home rendered lard mm -mm. yeah don't um mistake these for my chocolate chip cookie balls that i have frozen <laughs> pop one of those in your mouth surprise man banjo's gonna love this and um here do a taste test let's see what you think Come here. tell us what you think Buddy, you're missing it. Woohoo, good stuff. Yep, he likes it. There's some good stuff there. much rather him be eating this than me. This was a fantastic idea. We'll freeze them all and put them in a Ziploc bag and then just get a portion out at a time. 
And this is going to make a lot of cat food. This is the gross part. This is the cat food factory. If you could only smell what it smells like in here right now. It's <laughs> awful. It's <laughs> awful. <laughs> it's bad. Right, so this is what we came up with. This mini. So we're gonna put these in the deep freeze and we're gonna freeze them solid and then dump them in a bag like this. And we can just, that's one serving of cat food. And then we have these huge bags. And when we run out of the balls, we'll just make more here and refill. So that is a huge savings, hundreds of dollars. So I think this is gonna be a really good idea. brought a friend. <laughs> okay, you wait there. <coughs> what are you doing? You just can hardly wait. Where's your friend? my door and I've got friends just waiting, waiting for your meatballs. Go home. All right, go home now. Here you go. Here you go, girl. All right, you guys go home now. Go home. Go home, Shadow. Go home. So I think I'm going to love doing this every single year. You guys saw how much organ meats that was. That would be such an incredible amount of dinners I would have to make, dinners that we did not enjoy. I mean, it was pounds and pounds between, you know, the beef and the hog and um, all the chickens. It was, it was pounds of organ meats. And I was just thinking how long it would take Hans and I to eat those. So I was really thankful to see them get turned into cat food and dog food and um, be done with it. So the freezer's full and I'll just keep giving them as they want it. Um, now, if I was going to be trying to supplement the food completely, I would probably have taken a little bit more time on an actual recipe to have like a complete uh, recipe of everything that they would need. Um, but this is just a little extra treat. So we ended up with all the organ meats. We had the turkey that ended up being freezer burnt. I had the barley. And then um, at the end, we had added some fats, which I had used some rendered, um, some rendered lard that I had also done from the hog. So that kind of helped stick it together. But if it was a, their sole food, I would probably have taken a little bit more time in putting a recipe together. Um, one thing that got me thinking that it's going to help use up in the future, like next year, um, is when we processed our egg layers, which that is a completely different video. You might want to hop over and watch that. It was, it was a really great solution to some problems that we were having with overwintering our, um, our egg layers because we don't have any structures. And so we were really troubleshooting, trying to decide what to do with them. And I did a vlog um, about that, and it is posted if you wanna hop over there and watch it. Um, but we did end up processing those birds and that we were gonna turn them into chicken broth. And the meat on them 
because they were egg layers and we didn't raise them as meat birds, um, they were like a year old, the meat was pretty rubbery on them. And I got about two cups of meat per bird and I thought we were gonna be able to eat it. But when I turned it into soup, the, the meat was really chewy and rubbery and tough and not at all enjoyable to eat. So um, I was trying to figure out, you know, in the future it, when we process those egg layers, you know, that's, that's quite a bit of meat there as well. Um, so now I've solved that problem. I'll just add that meat. When we process them, I'll just bag that meat up and keep it in the freezer until I make um, cat food, dog food again. So, you know, I'll probably do this once a year. When, whenever we get the animals in the freezer, I'll just, that'll be the time that I do it. Or probably, I'll probably do it once I have the birds processed and I have all their organ meats as well. So I think that this is really gonna be a win for us. Um, it just helps use everything up. And whether we're eating it or the animals are eating it, as long as someone's eating it, I don't feel bad. So um, if you enjoyed this and you found it helpful, I'd love for you to leave me a comment below and you could go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And you might wanna subscribe and click the little bell so that you're notified every time I post. I do post homesteading videos here and I post a lot of food tutorials as well. So um, there's a lot for you on my channel. So go ahead and subscribe and we'll see you next time.